Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Do you know what makes all these stories so much more fun? Yeah, listening with a friend. So right now, I want you to think of two friends that you can share this story with, and then your parents can text them the link to this story. Today's story, we are seeing part two of Ava's amazing adventure. What is about to hatch out of the egg? I don't know. Well, are you ready to find out? Me too. Let's go. As the three sets of eyeballs eagerly awaited to see what would hatch out of this egg, Ava and her parents were all completely shocked at what popped out of the egg. As the egg cracked open, (gasps) Look at that, said Ava. It's a triceratops. They couldn't believe it. It was a real Triceratops, a small dinosaur with three horns on its head. She had done it. How did you do that, Ava? Said her parents. This is groundbreaking and absolutely amazing. We have to tell the world of what you've done, they said. Ava's mind began to race. Wait a second. I don't think we can do that. I know this is really cool. But if we tell them about this little guy, I don't think he's going to have a very fun life. He's going to be stuck with a whole bunch of test tubes and wires connected to him, and they're always going to be doing experiments on him, and I don't want that for him. Look at him. He's so cute. He needs to live a normal life, not stuck in someone's lab. You're right, Ava. You're so smart, they said. The rest of the day, Ava spent every second of it with her new friend. I am going to name you Stubby. Because of the horns on his head, they had little stubs at the end of them. And boy, was he cute. He was about the size of a small kitten, except he wasn't as fluffy as a kitten. In fact, he wasn't fluffy at all. He had hard skin, almost like a rhinoceros, but even harder. But he was actually very nice. Ava tried all kinds of different foods, and what do you think would be his favorite food? She tried pancakes, strawberries, and granola bars. Which one do you think would be his favorite? Well, he really liked strawberries. (laughs) Stubby gobbled up all the strawberries, and pretty soon, all the blueberries, and raspberries, and blackberries, and all the berries. I think he really likes berries, said Ava. Over the next couple weeks, Stubby grew bigger and bigger very quickly. They almost couldn't even buy berries fast enough for him to eat. He had now gotten big enough to go play outside in the backyard. Ava brought him outside and they had a nice fenced in yard to keep him safe from running away and getting lost. And as he stepped out in the grass for the first time, You could tell that Stubby was very happy. Wow, look how cool he is in the grass. He didn't walk very far before he started taking big bites out of the grass. Whoa, look at him go. He's like our little lawnmower now, said Ava. If you could have a pet dinosaur, (laughs) what dinosaur would it be? Would you want to have a pet T-Rex, a pet Velociraptor, Or maybe a Triceratops like Ava. I think I'm going to pick the Triceratops like Ava because I think the other two might try to eat me. (laughs) Over the next several days, Ava started to train Stubby. She wanted him to, to learn exactly how to follow all the commands and how they can be friends together and work together. 
Stubby was very smart and learned all these tricks very quickly. Hey, Ava, how about we bring Stubby this time on our trip to the river? <gasps> I think he would love that. He would love to splash in the river. So that's what they did. The three of them and Stubby climbed into the car and drove off towards the river. As they walked up the trail, Stubby walked very closely to Ava, following her every move. And up ahead was the river. Stubby, look at that. It's where we can splash and play. Let's go. She took off running for the river and Stubby was close behind. As they jumped into the river and splashed everywhere, Stubby was having the time of his life. He was kicking his legs and waving his tail in the water, making the biggest splashes of them all. Ava's parents couldn't help but laugh and take pictures of this hilarious thing that was going on. Ava had become completely soaked and Stubby was not stopping. Stubby, I'm going to splash you back, said Ava. As she started splashing Stubby, Stubby started splashing and splashing and splashing and pretty soon they were all completely soaked even her parents they usually spend the day at the river looking for fossils but stubby brought a whole new level of fun into river play towards the end of the afternoon it was getting close to the time where they needed to go home then all of a sudden her dad saw something in the water Ava come over here look at this Ava reached down in the water and pulled it out. It looked like another dinosaur egg. Wait a second. You don't think this could be another egg? Wait, maybe it's another fossil egg from Stubby's family. <gasps> what if he has a brother or sister? Ava was so excited, and Stubby was too. She looked at her parents, and her parents said, Well, I guess we got to take it home and start another adventure. And thus began another adventure of Ava and her dinosaur fossils. And this one would indeed, in fact, become one of Stubby's sisters. The end. Ah, parents, remember those glorious childhood moments? You know, pedaling down the street on your bike, feeling the breeze in your hair? Or pick up games of basketball with your friends as the sun dipped below the horizon. Or having a camp out in your backyard with all your neighborhood friends. Well, here's the thing. Those moments may not seem like much to us now, but for kids, they're nothing short of epic. And the thing is, Capri Sun is always there. Riding bikes, building forts, making new friends... Each choice a child makes encourages this sense of independence. Capri Sun is all about kids getting to call the shots. So, listen, next time you see a kid pedaling their heart out or aiming for that perfect shot or building a home away from home in the backyard with neighborhood kids inside a cardboard box, remember that Capri Sun is there, not just as a delicious drink, but as a tribute to the untamed spirit of childhood. Capri Sun, it's going to be epic. Hey, friends, I need your help celebrating two birthdays. Drum roll, please. Brrr, Happy birthday, Lucia, who's turning six years old. Lucia loves all animals and even mystical creatures, takes care, great care of her dog Sophie and her new puppy lady, and can read and write her own stories. Wow, Lucia, I'm so glad we get to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy sixth birthday. And next up, we have... Happy birthday, Kenya, who's turning six years old. Kenya loves helping and cleaning. Red is the favorite color, and she loves ponies. Wow, Kenya, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy sixth birthday. Whew. Well, friends, I hope you all have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. 
and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kida we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org.